Hi guys, come on in. So this is my entrance hall. I have on my right the engine room, which is like all the I don't even know what it does in there, but it looks like the engine of a spaceship. And then here on the left, we have like a little sideboard. It's a glass sideboard with black legs from Wayfair. I'll give you a few close-ups in a little bit. And if I walk away, you will see my um, <laughs> beautiful artwork from Decenio. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you where everything is from. So in future, you will know where things in my flat are from. This is one of the biggest images that they have. It's just this lovely abstract and I thought it flowed nicely into the rest of the theme of the house. So yeah, I wanted kind of like an artwork statement piece as we walk into the house. But this this house, this area is quite dark. It does have lights. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it did have lights. <laughs> anyway continue this we're gonna go into the where should we start first okay i'm gonna i'm gonna leave the glam room to last so if we go through the hallway this here on the right is just crap cupboard you know full of coats and crap <laughs> and then we walk along here we have the bathroom to the left but we're gonna go take a sneaky peek into the bedroom so this is the smallest of the two rooms and I have made it into my bedroom so this is what I've done with it. I'm going to try and be good here and remember where everything is from. So the bed is from Arisa Living which is great because you can design it yourself so I, it has different options, the colour, the size um, and different variations. So at the squeakiness I am still on an airbed guys, I'm waiting for my mattress become, to come which should be coming on the 20th of July so hopefully fingers crossed. Saying that, this airbed has done me very well. I've been through five. Um, <laughs> so the bed is from Arista Living and you can design your own bed so it's really great to like suit your room, what you want, what size, whether you want storage or not. So I definitely went for the biggest storage so I've got all my winter stuff under here right now and a few bulk <laughs> Um and then these cushions are like my favorite thing. They just completely make a room. They're from Belfield Home. Um, I'll link their details down below. They bespoke them to the room. I sent them a picture of what I wanted and like some inspo and they just, just designed exactly what I wanted. Um, these are actually in the living room as well, but if you want beautiful cushions, I 100% recommend them. I actually um, might get in touch with them to create some for the living room space because they are just such, they look so expensive and high quality and luxurious that they are the icing on top of the cake. <laughs> so this is a gorgeous rustic blanket. I really looked like um, beautiful polished stuff next to rustic that's definitely a theme throughout the rooms. The black dressing tables are from Olivia's. I'll show you a little close up now. So the black tables are from Olivia's and I have just got some lamps on them from Brand Alley. And the little black vases are from a really random place. So I'll find that on online for you. They were quite cheap, maybe like eBay. Um, and the flowers are from Aram Amaranth the Blooms. I can't, they were came in a big vase and I split them because I just loved the I loved the pop of green in this room. And then again, we've got some Decenio prints up there. So this was this went through a process this room, but it's kind of how we are at. And then we finally got some neck curtains in. They aren't even screwed in, so you just get like a wire that just fits in and like it just stays. And I think it really gives like a hotel finish to the look. Um, the glass things, the glass trays are from Society House. And then this mirror, oh, I regret saying I'm gonna tell you guys where everything's from. This mirror is from, I don't know guys. But it's beautiful. If I can't remember where things are from, guys, I will put them all in the description box. But this is a beautiful giant six foot, over six, like seven foot mirror. And it fitted perfectly. So this is where I do all my outfit of the day. So you will know this view very well. But I think I'm going to get a chair for the back. And, um... So maybe like a chair for here and some pictures to go up this wall just to break up the whiteness. I really hate this. This I hate. I really hate this on the wall. And then we just got some storage here. So this is my wardrobe. This is my um, Woolies wardrobe. So if I take you through to here, this is 
the bathroom. I really love the doors in this flat and the best thing about it, this flat, it has aircon and heating, underfloor, fleet, underfloor heating. This is one of two bathrooms and it is where I have the bath time. When I moved into this flat, I didn't have a bath in my last one, so I was adamant that I wanted some sort of bath and beautiful place to come relax after, after COVID. I just needed like some relaxation times. So this is where all of my little gorgeous beauty products are. I wanted it to be like a hotel and feel like kind of like a hotel spa. I haven't mastered the ability to clean shiny surfaces yet. <laughs> Do bear with me, it's a learning curve. So we have some Esbar products here. I love the bath oils, so gorgeous. And then we have um, Molten Brown, that is a really nice fragrance over there. So I like this bathroom. So none of my beauty products are in here really. This is completely bath zen. And then if we go through here, we've got some more Jo Malone. Got some of my favorite books that I'm reading. We've got um, Chimp Paradox and Happy Sexy Millionaire. And we are, I've, I have actually just ordered some towels. I ruin towels, guys, all the time. So I've just ordered some beautiful white ones for there. Mm. Then if we go through here, it is the kitchen lounge. So if we make our way through here, you will see the living area. I still have to get some artwork or something lovely for these walls, but this is the kind of space. It was such an empty box when I moved in, so I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I am looking for probably a bigger rug. Some things to update you on. I am getting like a um, footstool to go along here, another rug, and a little maybe coffee table or something in this space here. But um, yeah, this is the living room. Sofa is from Sofa Club. Things that I can remember off my top of my head. <laughs> and then this is the breakfast bar area. Um, you guys know that I had this made. And yeah, this is the final look. These chairs just fit perfectly with the sofa. And I've got this kind of arrangement on top of it. So I was really happy how this kind of turned out. I wanted the kitchen bar to kind of separate the two areas a little better. Um, I do most of my work on here. I've got my laptop on and I've got these gorgeous cushions on here as well. I'm really into like different textures and different fabrics. So I just love working them all together. And um, you'll see again, we've got kind of like the rusticness with like the geometric. I really love the contrast of um, the different, the different vibes. So if we, this is my kitchen. <laughs> it's never this clean. <laughs> we have um, just two kettles that are from a brand called Breville. I'm not a smeg. I'm not a swag owner yet. <laughs> I've got my glasses from Society House. And then obviously um, beautiful flowers. All my flowers in my flat are from Flowered. Um, I have a collection out with them, you guys know. And yeah, I would show you my fridge, but it's dire, so let's not do that. So yeah, this is the view that I have when I sit with a cup of tea and do my laptop. This is the coffee table situation. We've just got some coffee table books. This is my arrangement with Flowered from my collection and designed it. And then on my little society house tray, we've got some candles and some naked candles from Olivia's, which I love. And then over here, that's from Wilco's. I have to open this with you guys in a second, but this is a plant Origin sent me and I'm so proud that it's still going strong because that plant is the only one I've been, ever been able to keep alive. We've just got some baskets of crap. <laughs> so this was an Ikea unit and I really didn't like it when it, sorry, my all my batteries are charging there so ignore that but um, the Ikea unit, I really didn't like it when it moved, when it was just empty. It had like holes in the side, you know, where you pop the little things in and it just looked like an Ikea unit. So I got these um, baskets to go in them and I think it just really like lifts the whole unit and um, yeah, so that's the telly. Really should have done a bigger telly. <laughs> here over in the living room some cute little areas I have this blanket couldn't tell you where it's from someone sent it to me in my PO box it has my name on it but I thought that just looked really lovely over the edge of the couch we've got some cushions um, as I said I might get some new cushions for here just to so they're the same quality as the ones in the bedroom then over here in this section we have my favorite little chair oh my gosh this is so gorgeous this is from tracy victoria and i literally i'm so obsessed with 
how it looks in this room as soon as this chair came it really just completed the room and then this light here is from Icon iconic lights and it's kind of like my little reading area the cushion again from belfield home and then i've just got this gorgeous little blanket over the top which is from decked deco i will leave all the details to everything linked down below so this is the view that you're usually seeing because i usually stand in front of the window for the lighting so it's interesting for you guys to see all the way around and then this is my big six foot mirror which is actually from amazon so this is the massive huge mirror that was in my hallway in my old flat for so long nine months but um yeah this is i put this here just because it really opened up the room this was kind of like a really dark blank space and i don't know it just worked i really liked the um I'm a blogger, we like mirrors just to show you outfits. So this, this I moved out of the dressing room and put here just cause it really opened up the room so much. So yeah, you can see from all angles what it looks like. So, so this little table down here is from my old flat and it is my cup of tea table. You gotta have a place to put your cuppa. So this chair was kindly gifted to me from a brand called Tracy Victoria. I don't know if you remember ages ago, I think both on my YouTube and my stories, I put up like mood boards with bar stools and they had the most beautiful bar stools. I'll pop the picture here if I can remember. So that Tracy Victoria is where those bar stools were from, but they went so quick that I couldn't get my hands on them. So I have this beautiful chair and I feel like it just makes the room. They kindly sent a, gift, sent a gift with it as well, which I'm gonna open up with you. So this is the brand right here. And in my time, this is obviously the first flat that I had that I furnished myself really. And I really enjoyed finding brands like Tracy Victoria because they have such unique pieces that you don't find on like the renowned places like Ikea, Wayfair. They have such beautiful, unique pieces. And they kind of sent me this gift, so I'm gonna open it. I've been dying to open this for a long time. <laughs> okay, I think it's some sort of diffuser. Amazing. Ah, oh, look at this. This is like a leather, diff white leather looking diffuser. How beautiful. Oh, that looks so good next to the chair. It's like the exact same, the exact same. So then I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna pop that next to the chair somewhere. It's the exact same color, how cute. So the bar are from a place called Atlantic Shopping and <laughs> this breakfast bar, I had a bit of a mare with it. So I, I didn't want to get a whole kitchen island. They're so expensive. I didn't really need the cupboard space. Most of these are empty. Um, I kind of just wanted a makeshift, something that was like a makeshift kitchen bar. So I found this on a place called Eduquip or something it's called. It's for school. So this is a school canteen desk. <laughs> you can pick the color, you can pick the ha the size. So it was a great idea initially. So I think it initially cost £340 and then there was VAT on top. But then it arrived and it was so much taller. It was, I knew it was gonna be 15 centimeters taller than the worktop, but it seemed so, it just seemed so giant. So I had to get a carpenter to come shape the bottom of it, um, which was obviously an extra expense. I think that was an extra hundred. So all in total, it was a big expense for what I want, for what I initially set it out to be. In hindsight, I probably wouldn't have bothered. However, I do really love how this room has turned out. Um, yeah <laughs> in hindsight i probably just would have gone for a furnished flat but oh my gosh flat hunting in london is so difficult there is like hardly any places whatsoever you have to be so i you guys know i moved in here with a week spare i had a week left on my tenancy and i had to find somewhere i had seven days left so you have to kind of be lucky with what comes up this flat was totally not what i wanted i wanted like a very old like victorian kind of building so i didn't want a new build at all um so whether i'll stay here here or not i don't know and most of the furniture in the flats in london are vile so I kind of just wanted a beautiful place to do my thing and it's worked out for the best. However, there were like with furniture shopping, you're gonna hit and miss it. I feel like you're gonna make mistakes and it's really gutting when you make a mistake. I feel like everyone will be like agreeing with me here. Like when you order a piece of furniture and it doesn't go, like it's such a shit feeling because like obviously it's so big. It's not like a tiny thing that you can just return via ASOS. 
Um, so yeah, lots of learning curves, but um, I've enjoyed the process. The pot is from my range with flowers. I just put some faux flowers in and used the pot that it came with. Let's go through to the glam room. So this is where the magic happens. So as we walk through the door, we have this area here, which I know is a bit of an eyesore. However, this is all what's, this is the heart of everything that I do. So this is all the new and collaborations. Everything is out, so I know what I need to shoot. And yeah, it just got, it does get very messy and it is the first thing you see. However, this, is a working space for me. So as well as it being like, obviously one day I'd love a beautiful dressing room, but for me, this is a studio that I work in. So everything is on display for me to use. Um, yeah, so let me give you a little tour of everything. So this is my first closet. We have lights at the top, which I love. We've got shirts, blouses, we've got blazers, and then over to here we have all the jewelry the mirror is from society house and i obviously in a perfect world where i had lots of space this would be in a drawer so initially i wanted to make this like flowers and just like more of an ornament but actually i just wanted a place where i could see all my accessories and no like just because of what i do i just needed to see everything and we've got like knicker drawers and hair drawers and then here we have another set of wardrobes which has got all my trousers skirts and yeah that is my wardrobe so we move around here we've got a little cheeky mirror and then this desk is from amazon and i really like it because it's got my my everyday makeup in here and a lovely brush with loads of hair and let's just turn that down so this is all my everyday makeup um this is where i sit when you see, see me most of the time this chair is from a place called inspirations in my hometown i wanted to paint the legs white maybe but i just haven't got around to it but the chair actually goes really well with the this is new in makeup. So I have this here from the PO box. I open my PO box and see what things that I'm interested in. And then I kind of leave them out here to shoot because otherwise it just gets lost. This is all new in accessories. Um, so these are new in and shoppable. So I try to use these for you guys. And yeah, that is all there. So I know what's new. My shoes, we have a lot of shoes. And then obviously the handbag section, which is what you guys usually see in the background of my videos. And then if we walk through here, we have, this is the bathroom where everything happens. <laughs> this, and obviously I've still really haven't worked out how to clean glass at all very well. I've just ordered some towels for here because we're in the last set. Um, so this is my bathroom where, oh god, I'm so crap at that, aren't I? I know you guys told me to use vinegar, but you know, really haven't got around to doing that. Um, so this is where everything happens. This is the beauty cupboard of all the stuff. And I don't ask why I've got a cup in there. <laughs> it's got my retainer in. But anyway, this is all the practical stuff that I use. And then I have... This little basket of new in beauty products. So these are again things that have come into my peer box that I like try and want to test out. Um, also, I've got some stuff here that I want to test out. So in an ideal world, I probably wouldn't have so many beauty products out, but however, doing the job I do, if I don't have them there waiting for me to try them, I never will. So that is the idea behind leaving all the stuff out. So this is the shower room. It's like a gorgeous walk-in shower. Then we've got my little pink beauty products. I think this bathroom has a pink tin, so I really like the pinkness of that. So yeah, this is where the magic happens. And actually behind the curtain is really gorgeous green trees. So I do often sit there with that open and work or do my makeup. And yeah, that is the flat tour. So that is my flat. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I will link as many of the things that I've mentioned down below in the description box if you want to shop or know where things are from. And yeah, welcome. I thought I'd just give a tour because loads of you asked for it and it's quite nice knowing the layout of the place when I vlog and stuff so you know what where everything is. And yeah, now get the hell out of my house. <laughs> yeah.